Okay, so the problem with the magic wand tool is that it has to select adjacent colors. And if it can not select adjacent colors, what it will do is it will allow you to add or subtract from the selection, but you have to click multiple times. So for instance, if I grab the magic wand tool, let's say I wanted to change this orange color and I wanted to change this orange color simultaneously in this photo. If I click once in here, it's going to select all the adjacent colors that match that orange um, paint. For some reason, it didn't include, include that little section right there. So I have to come in here, make sure it's on add selection and click here. Then I have to click here and maybe click there. What is the deal with these tiny little remainder pixels? But there you go. It wasn't a big deal, but now I have to come down. No, that's not the same orange. So now if I wanted to change that color, I could go to adjustments, hue and saturation, and I can change that particular color. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And we're gonna see something called the color range selector. So what I can do with the color range selector is it allows you to select, again, colors, but it allows you to select non-adjacent colors. So it'll find all the orange in your image, all the pink in your image, all the green in your image. So if I go to the selection menu and choose color range, I can come in here and it has this little eyedropper. And fuzziness, by the way, is gonna say how tight those colors are. So if you choose 11, it'll only pick really close colors to the pixel you select. And we'll see that in just a second. Over here, we have selection, add to sample, and subtract from sample. So I can click on the orange, and as you can see, it didn't get somewhere in the corner. It barely got this orange. So if we increase the fuzziness, see how it's trying to add in, and the more we add in, the more it adds in these warm tones. So we'll go ahead and subtract from that. And I think it's pretty darn good. So I can click plus, and it looks like there's some fuzziness right here in the corner. So we can click and add that and see how it's changing that down here and there's a little part down here. So I can click and add that. And I think it starts to add in like this yellow part. So I'll go ahead and clean that up a little bit. And we'll click and add in right there. And it looks like it's a little fuzzy right there. A little bit of fuzz right there. Okay, and probably right in this corner. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I just tried to explain to you that the magic wand tool was harder than the color range and then that took a lot. So this image didn't work out for me as well as I would like. But now you can see that it'll select non-adjacent colors all at once and then you can come in here and do your selections. So I can come in here and colorize it and I can change it whatever color I wanna change it. But as you can see, it starts doing this fuzzy stuff right here. So you can do this with any image, like in this image, you can try to find, um, let's say there's a vibrant bright green and do select color range and choose that vibrant green. And you can see anywhere in this image as you increase the fuzziness that we see some of that green. So all of a sudden we have this polka dot, this stripe right here, and then we have these stripes. So it's looking pretty good. And then if I wanted to, again, I could bring those down for whatever reason. Um, go ahead and desaturate those. So maybe they're a little bit more muted. Okay, so we got a fuzziness in here just because it has some orange happening in there. So we could have added more and sampled that color. In this particular example, we'll go back to my selections assignment here. What if we wanted to highlight different areas of this brain and we have all the same colors? Well, this just kind of shows you the, the way you can use this um, to kind of have fun. So we'll go to select color range and just choose any area and see how it's too much. So I can bring it down. I want to say, okay, that area of the brain, I want to change that. Make sure I'm on x-ray of the head and then go to adjustments, hue saturation, and then I can recolor it. Okay. So if I wanted to add another area, like this is your brain thinking, and then this is your spine moving, whatever. So we'll go to select and do color range and then click down here. And then again, it's probably two, there we go. And I might wanna do a little less fuzziness. And there we go. And again, we're gonna go hue saturation and this time we're gonna make it kind of a more noticeable yellow. Okay, 
So anyway, that's just a cool way to kind of play with the color range, but sometimes it's nice to have that color range selector when you have a lot of color in your image that you want to change and in and you just want to be able to select them all at once. So that's an easy way to do that. Um, in my ninja example, um, where did he go? In my ninja example over here, if for some reason, if this um, area, well, if you were watching that video, when we did the magic wand tool, we had to click in here, and then we had to click here, and then we had to click all these white areas. So I'll do command or control D. And if we come in here and do select color range, we can click on the white and it's going to select all the white in the image. And you have to be careful because it gets that little bit of shine in the sword. So we move that down, click OK, and come back over here and do Command or Control J. Oops, we're going to have to invert, invert that. So select inverse. And as you can see, there's a little bit of fuzziness. So if I do Command or Control J, I can erase that area or whatever I want to do with it. So it probably was a little too not fuzzy, but there you go.